All right. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club case. Okay, sorry. Let me focus, focus. It's been a while. I've been out. I've been doing my transition because I told you I cut my hair short. I didn't tell y'all, but now I'm telling y'all. I cut my hair short. Try to style. It didn't work out. So now I'm doing wigs. So I've been trying the Love Me hair. You see them a thousand times on Instagram, Facebook. Love Me hair, affordable luxury wigs. So each wig that I'm about to show you, I'm going to show you four. Each wig was no more than a hundred dollars, and I had coupon codes because they always give you coupon codes when you are on the site. So I'm going to show you the first two that I got. So the first one. I got now don't judge because it's been a, at least two months since I've started this no a month and a half so this is the first one it's the curly one it looks a little ratty because it was in my purse don't judge me it was in my purse because it was just there after my hair appointment and I never like put it back on a wig head because I only have one wig head so I don't braid I go to my stylist she washes conditions trims my ends and then I just do three braids because I don't need all that uh, tension in my life so I use a wig grip uh oh did I not hold on okay so I use a wig grip so the one I use is dark brown and it has the mesh piece in the middle for those who do like the middle part or whatever and it's the velcro so you can see so every wig I've never used like the wig cap because it just don't stay on my head. My head is shaped funny. It don't work. So I do this and then I take it to the back. That's all I do. No problems. Take my ears out. So this first wig was a curly one. My stylist, did she put it? Yeah. My stylist sewed the band, the elastic band in. It comes with the comb. Can you see? Yeah, the comb here. The comb on the side and then the comb in the back. But I like the band because it just, I don't know, it does a little something for me. So I'm going to put it on and show y'all what it looks like. So it's supposed to be to the side. I guess you could do it in the middle if you wanted to. Now, this looks a hot mess. Hold on. So what I've done to wet it down in the past is to spray the Hawaiian Silky Miracle Foreign One. So I'm not going to do it all the way, but I'm going to just show you how different it looks. Ooh, excuse me. Once you spray and put like moisture to it, how damp it gets and how it just changes the whole look of the hair. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Because as you can see, it's getting weighted down. Yeah, eh, I could fully wet it, but I'm not. Just want you to get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so you can see, she cut the edges off. It's just right there. There's nothing special to it. I didn't do no makeup. She did. Ble did she bleach the knot? She did not bleach the knots on this one. But it can be laid down, as you can see. So it doesn't look as crazy as it looked before. And then I tried to do it in the middle, and you can do it in the middle. You probably would have to cut some off, or you can, you know, do it to the back and have a little piece down, however you want to do it. This wig was a weekend wig for me. I wasn't really a fan of it to the side or to the front. I just, it wasn't me. So, this one, eh, was a no-go. Now, they don't tell y'all with these wig grips that when you put these wig grips on, and if you want to know which wig is which, just send me a note and then I'll send you the link. Cause I'll just send you the link. Oh, um, so you can see the top. Hold on, that's the top of the wig. She, no bleach knots, but that's how it came. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Okay. The second wig I got, which I rocked for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks, is the longer one with the little wrap. She was also in my purse, but we are not going to judge me. What they don't tell you, what I was saying about these wig grips, is this thing slides. It slides. So, 
it doesn't make the wig slide, but it just slides. I don't know if it's me or my head or how I pulled it off. It just slides. Pull your ears out. Pull your ears out. So I will say I like the hair. I don't have any complaints. It does not smell, even though I wash my hair before I wear it anyway. Um, my stylist said that it's good quality. She didn't have any complaints with it. I don't know wigs like that because this is my first rodeo. So, um, I have no, nothing to go off of. I haven't had one more than the other. I've been doing crochet as y'all remember. So this is the straight kind of one. And she did bleach it not. I don't know if you can see a difference in the light. But I think all in all it's about the same. Let me see how did this go. So it was like this. It was in my purse. That's why it looks like this. It was in my purse. But it goes back to normal. Brushing it. It's really flat to my head. There we go. She had it flat on it much better than this. Did I have it to the side? I might have had it to the side. Hold on. And I do tuck the comb in underneath. Yeah, this is how I had it. I'll turn around and show you the back. So you can see. But this was one of my favorites. There's no like puffiness. It's just like flat to my head. She did. I don't know if you could really see. But she did bleach the knot. So it's a little more my scalp color. And I'll show you the back. That's it. I don't know how many. I can tell you how many inches if you send me a note below. This is a basic video. I'm not going to be putting no face on. I'm not going to do the thick ass eyebrows. I ain't going to do the beat makeup. You're not going to be like, oh, there she goes. She pretty again. No, it's going to be what it's going to be. Because this is you in the morning when you get up and put your face on. So I put your hair on. You don't be getting all beat when you're going to work. Be honest. So, anyway, I like this one. This is what I had. She had like a little, she laid it a little bit so it can be like kind of back. You see that little layered part. But, yeah, I liked her. Um, I might have had it to the back. I don't remember because it's been that long. But, I did like this one a lot. She was in my purse, like I said, because I had gotten two new ones. And I wore this wig when I got the new one styled. This is a good wash and wrap style. It doesn't feel too hot. It doesn't feel too heavy. It's been in my purse about two weeks and it has not tangled as you can see. There's no shedding, no no loose hairs. Like nothing's on a brush. Like nothing. It's really fine. My hair is really fine. I didn't have her tape or anything. This is just what the wig was when I put it on. She just cut it to the edge. I don't do baby hairs because I'm not a baby. I'm not going to do the big ass swoops. I'm not a baby and I'm not 17 years old. So, this is, she cut it to the end and that's it. There was nothing else done. I did, Again, I did not color and shade, none of that mess. She just bleached the knots for me as she was washing and conditioning my own hair. So, this is Love Me Hair again. And I'll show you the box. Love Me Hair. They come with a lot of stuff, like they, it comes with an elastic band, in case you want to use a band. I did not use the band for this one, this is tight enough, um, and the wig grip makes it fine. Did not use a band, and it comes with this clip. Now, hold on, can you see? No, I'll put it on the box. Yeah, love me. I'm not putting it on my hair. I'm 41, I'm not 22. I'm not going to put this big ass clip. But for the interest of time, let me just show y'all what this big ass clip will look like. Where am I going? Where am I going with this big ass clip? Does it belong here? I don't know. But in none of the wigs I'm going to show you, I do not do baby hairs. I don't use got to be glue. I don't use got to be Jesus. I don't use none of that. I had, she tried got to be glue so I could see how it would look if I had it like tacked down. And it was a big ashy spot right there so I, I have sensitive skin maybe that's the reason but I didn't use it I don't want to use it I'm not going to use it okay and I think this inches is 14 or 16 oh look at that it stayed okay wig number three that wasn't this is my favorite one I had her sew in 
the thing, their band. There is a comb in the back. It was a comb in the middle, which was dumb as all hell. Because as you're putting the wig on, it kept getting hooked in the braid and my hair. Just dumb. For no reason. So I didn't. Um, but this is the wig. It's, it's the bob. And I'm going to brush it. Shut up. Don't even say it. Yeah, it looks raggedy. I put foundation in this one because I kept watching YouTube videos. Nothing fancy from e.l.f. Because I don't wear makeup like that. I bought this for the wig purposes. And I had this little brush. And I can do it again and show you what I did. So I just opened it. And this is a... Let me see. Because I don't wear makeup. This is deep is what I can see. It may be it's a bronzer foundation. So I just swirled it. Went inside. As you can see, it's already foundation. And just did that around it. Nothing else. I didn't have that line, I didn't have the cream, the buffing wheel, I didn't do all of that. So, I'm putting it on, the band is down first, and then slide it back. Brush it down, and I like this one, I think because I don't really like, like hair um, down my back all the time, or I feel like sometimes it's um, annoying. So I love this wig, and I was rocking this for a straight tooth. Like, I love this wig. I might have to buy another one because I just want another one. Maybe to add color to. But this is it. Again, she cut the edges up to the root, as you can see. Um, you can really see. Uh, here, there you go. So you can see. She cut it. She cut it. No baby hair. And that's it. This is how I wore it. Tucked it back. Um, and I do have some little flyaways. And I don't know how much you can see into it, as you can see right there. They put this in the, in the pack. It's hair wax stick. She has a keratin one, so she uses that one. But all I do, if I see flyaways, and it doesn't leave a color or do anything to the hair. I just brush it over. I'm not a professional. I'm just a regular girl who goes to work and puts a wig on. And... You can see it tapers it down a little. Again, no shedding. Nothing. I'm going to turn around for this one as well. This is 10 inches. That's it. Easy peasy. Wop wop. Put the wig on. And there we go. Now my last wig is a bang wig. She did sew it in. But I'm going to show you anyway. Again, if you tell me which one you want to know. And I will send you the link to which one I got. Um, um, from Love Me Hair. The shipping was very fast. It's DHL. Nobody tells you this. It's DHL and it is two to four days if you do it during the week. So you order on a Monday, you might get it on that Friday. Signature required. So I started having these wigs sent to my job because ain't nobody home like that? Like people home, but they're not home home because they don't tell you what time. Therefore, I had it sent to my job. Um, this last week that I got, I had, I, I forgot because I wasn't going to work for the holiday. So I had it shipped to my house. I'm like, damn, am I going to be home with time? I got to stay home. I had to stay home all day because I got a sign for this wig. They ain't playing with that. I ain't never got it. This wig was 67 or 76 I don't know. It was under $100 is what I'm going to tell you. Okay. That's wig number three. My final wig is a bob, but it is a bang. And I had her do the band in it, and it's combs. Is there a comb in here? No, there's no combs in this one. But here we go. And I'm going to show you also, because I messed this one up myself. It's all on me, because I have a bad habit. But... When I first got the wig, didn't look nothing like this. I had to have her. It the curls were so tight. Oh, shifted. Um, the curls were so tight. You could have swore I had a mushroom. Like the curls were so tight. Um, and when you wear a wig grip, you have to make sure it's down on top of the wig grip. Sometimes it'll just sit up there and you don't even realize it. Um, so I had her cut the bangs. This density was 200, so it was very thick. My hair is not that thick. 
and I asked her to thin it out. So she went in a few times and just cut and then stripped it down. Cut, stripped down. The same with the bang. The bang is right here. I have a horrible, terrible, bad habit. Oh, sorry. This is a silk base bob. 10 inches, I believe. 10. 10 inches. Um, silk base means it's more like realistic. Like that's supposed to be my scalp. I'm black. My scalp ain't that white. But don't put it on top of my head like that. You should be able to look at me right here and not be able to worry about what's on top of my head. My head. 200 density was very thick. I had her shave the bangs down, shave the sides down in the back, which was fine. And it, it, I wish I could have did it before and after. It was just a lot of hair. That's maybe good for some, not for me. I have a bad habit of doing this. See my eyebrows? When they're cutting my hair, get my eye, I always do this. So when they're cutting it, it goes based on where my eyebrows are. Well, now my eyebrows are down. And where's the bang? Above my eyebrows. I, easy fix. So I just try to shift it down so, and I like it behind my ear like a good old wrap from 1997. So I just, nothing special. Brush it behind my ear. I tried it with a pen and it got really annoying. But you can put a pen if you don't really care. See, I don't do hair. This is real basic for me. And see, my eyebrows are still up, so you think the bang is, like, supposed to be right, but it's not. It's still, like, right above. So, I mean, I could adjust, but I'm not. This is it. I like this one. This is a good, good one. I'm going to turn around again. Wow. Wow. I can turn them. Wow. Shag wig. Okay. So, this one, I got this one for under 100. I want to say 60-something because I use two coupon codes, and they do allow you to stack It'll take off a couple more dollars when you spin up when you log onto the website. It says try your luck. A little box box comes on and it says try your luck. You enter your email address and it'll spin the wheel and it'll tell you how much you'll get off. You can use that coupon because it'll automatically apply it. And then at the top there's usually another coupon code. And when you add that second one, it'll take it off a little bit more. And that's what I've been doing. You can use the same email address a thousand times. You will get that many more love me here. Um, Love me hair promotions, but who cares? You're getting discounts. So, this is my wig. This is my newest one. And I think I'm going to do this one for a couple weeks before I go back to my old favorite. Um, but Love Me Hair has good wigs. I like no shedding, no tangling, no smell. I'm a fan. Look at me. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, let me stop. That's all I got to say. I won't keep you on no longer. Love Me Hair wigs is good. I have four. I have not gone anywhere else. No, you do not have to measure your head, the circumference, the radius, the uh, rhombus, the triangle, the trapezoid. You ain't got to do all that with this wig. If you have a problem because you got a bigger head, then you might have to try somewhere else. I got nothing for you. I want to try a longer one. Like, I want one from Bangladesh, but I want it to be, like, long in the back. So, it'll be like that and just long. But I don't know. But that's all I got. Ain't got no more. Um, you got any questions, comments, concerns, beauty tips, and or advice, let me know. Again, I did not bleach this one. I did not, there was no, there was no lace to cut. This is human hair. All the wigs are human hair. Um, there was no lace in this one. There was no band in this one. She added the, the elastic that I purchased from, because this band, they give you, like really, what, you, you get a headache if you have something this short on your hair, even though it stretches. So I went to Amazon, I believe, and I got, um, I went to Amazon and I bought another whole roll so when we do more wigs, she can have more to work with. And she just sewed it in. I don't know how to do that because I have nails. I don't do that. Um, that's all I got. So, um, Happy New Year. If I get more wigs, I will come on, but please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see something else, let me know. Um. Because I'm thinking about getting into the reality TV opinions, but, you know, everybody does one of those. So maybe, but y'all like mine, because my commentary is, like, real and authentic, and I'm with bull. But, anyway, move on. Love me hair. All good, all gravy. I don't use got to be glue. I don't do the makeup on my face before and after videos. I'm not going to be beat for the gods. I'm not doing all that. This is a regular person doing a regular review. And that's all I got. Have a good day. Bye.